Hi, welcome to Dundeal website. I'm excited to have you on board. And in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick tour or walkthrough of your website. So when you first sign up, you'll probably be taken to a page like this. You'll be, you know, this is what you see when you log into your website or something like it anyway. Um, this is, we could call this the dashboard. Now from here, you can get to you know, the front end of your website that, that other people will see. You can get to the behind the scenes stuff, how to, you know, make changes on your website. Um, you know, this is where you where you get to um, everything. So let's start off by just taking a look at the front end of your website. One quick and easy way to do that is up at the top, you'll see a link that says view my website. Now you can just click on that to get to your website or you can, if you want, you could right click and open it in a new a new tab. So here we can see the website and I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of this part of it. This is what other people see. Um, if you're not sure of what your website address is um, that you would give to other people, um, I'm just going to move this briefly so you can see that. Um, it, it basically is normally is going to be dundealwebsite.com forward slash whatever your username is. Um, but you can find that there in the address bar. So just, uh, just so you know, this is one way of getting to that information. Um, and this is assuming that you don't have your own domain name. With our basic pro and master levels, you can use your own domain name. So this is the website that, that people would see. This is what you would send people to. Uh, you can see um, right off the bat there's um, a big Get Started Now button. That kind of draws your attention there. Um, and that takes people to a form they can fill out that gives you their information. Um, you can see everything looks professional on the site. Um, next we see a video here that people can watch to see kind of an idea of, of what you do as an investor, how you how you work. Um, as you scroll down you can see there's information here. It looks, you know, everything is, is set up to, to give the person more information um, and give them motivation to contact you. So this is some of the benefits of working with you, some of the different situations you can help with. And again, at the bottom, another big Get Started Now button. So let's see what happens when we click that Get Started Now button. So here we can see um, a little information about, um, you know, that they need to fill out this form as completely and honestly as they can. And so as we scroll down, you can see it asks for their contact information, all the information that you're going to need to determine um, if this is a good deal or not. Um, let me just highlight a couple things, um, you know, some of my favorite features. For example, if we go down to this question, is the house listed with a, with a real estate agent? If you click that, and if you click no, you just move on to the next question, how many bedrooms and bathrooms? But if you click yes, more questions appear. How much is it listed for? How long has it been listed? When does your listing expire? Um, so it automatically adapts um, to the, the person's responses, which is kind of what you would do if you call, talk to them on the phone, right? If, you, if they say, if you ask, is this listed with a real estate agent? If they say no, you just go on. But if, if they say yes, then you need more information about that. And it does this on several spots. You know, for example, um, you know, do you have a mortgage on this property? If you click yes, then, you know, obviously you need information about that mortgage. Um, as we scroll down, um, do you have any other mortgages on this property besides the first one? If they click yes, again, we need to know, you know, what's the balance on that, on those mortgages and things like that. Are you behind on any mortgage payments? If you click yes, well, how much are you behind? How many payments are you behind? the number of payments, um, have you received a foreclosure notice? Those are all very important things that you need to know, but we don't ask those questions if we don't need them. You know, if they don't apply, then we just don't ask. So that's one of my favorite features. And when someone fills out this form, you're probably wondering, well, what happens? Well, you get an email with this information. So um, you'll have all of the all of the important information at your fingertips. Now. Most of this information, we don't require people to fill it out. Um, they can fill out if they want. They can just put in the basic information, name, email, phone number, just basic contact information if they want. Anything else is basically optional. That way, you can kind of tell how motivated someone is just by how much information they, 
they send you. If they're not very motivated, they might leave most of the stuff blank. Um, or if they're you know a little skeptical or whatever. But if they're more motivated, they're probably going to fill out this thing completely. So that gives you a little insight there too. Now, if you need to adjust where, uh, which email account your leads go to, you can do that by logging into your website. And uh, this is the screen that we were on initially. You can just click back to get back to your dashboard. And if you go to settings, um, that's where that option is. So you'll find here a spot for your email address, and you would just put in the email address where you want those to go. If you're changing this, you will need to confirm the new email address by opening that email account and clicking a link um, to, to approve that change. Um, but anyway, this is where you would go to change that. And of course, after you do that, you would want to scroll down and click Save. But for now, let's just go back to the website and look at a couple other features on it. Um, if we scroll up to the top, you'll see that there are a couple other pages listed here. We've looked at the home page. We've looked at the Sell Your House Now form here. So let's just look briefly at the FAQ, which of course stands for Frequently Asked Questions. And you can see these are already written for you. Um, it has questions and answers um, that tells um, you know information to to the the seller uh, to answer the questions that it may already have. And this can save you a lot of time because you don't have to answer these same questions over and over again. We've basically already done it for you. And of course, if you have the basic pro or master levels, you can go in and edit this if you want, if you want to change any of the wording. Um, now, finally, let's look. There's one other page that we haven't looked at. Um, it, it's the Contact Us page. And this is just a basic contact form. So if somebody wants to email you, they can come here and fill out this form. Just ask for their name, email, phone number, and they, their message. They click Submit, and it gets emailed to you right away. Um, this is better than listing your email address on your contact page because that can kind of open you up to getting a lot of spam at that email account. It's better if people don't if you don't have your email address listed publicly on your website. And that's why we've set it up this way. That way they can just fill out the form and it goes to you. So that's a quick overview of your motivated seller website, um, some of the features of it that you might not have noticed initially and how to get around and uh, things like that. So again, you know, this is the front end of it. Um, to make changes, um, of course, you can go into the back end, the, the dashboard of your website. Besides receiving an email with your leads, you can also view them from your website. You can log in, and it's a good idea, even if you do receive them by email, it's a good idea to log in sometimes and check this. Um, to do that, you go to Forms and Leads, and you can just, you can just click that if you want. Um, you can also go to Entries, but I, I prefer this method, and I'll show you why. So you log in, um, you click on that, and you'll see your different forms on your, on your pages. And then you'll see a column that says entries, and all of these show zero. This is a just a test site, um, a brand new site that hasn't been, uh, you know, no one has filled anything out on it yet. But if any, if anyone had filled them out, you can click this number here under entries in this column. So for example, um, let's say motivated sellers. I want, let's say I had a, a number listed here of like five or one. Um, I would click that, and it would take me to. Um, a listing of everybody who had filled out that form, and I can then look at those. Now, the reason I say it's a good idea to check these is that email is not 100% reliable. Um, you know, we send out the emails from your site when somebody fills out the form, but that doesn't mean you're going to get it. Some email accounts have very strict spam filters, and they see this email coming in talking about mortgages and, you know, other you know financial information and they think it's spam and they might put it in your spam folder or other things can happen too and you just might not see all of the messages so I always recommend checking this on a regular basis just to make sure you haven't missed anything um, so that's another feature with um, with some of our levels is to be able to look at your leads directly you know in your website itself now another important thing is you have more pages on your site than just your motivated seller site. We just looked at the motivated seller site, but you're probably wondering, well, where are my other pages? You know, my buyer pages and things like that. Because when you go and look at your home page, and you know, you see this seller site, um, and there's no, there's nothing there about buying property. So where are the buyer pages? 
Well, first off, you do have them, but they're not listed in this menu for a very good reason. Uh, we've chosen not to do this because putting links to your buyer pages can actually scare off your sellers. Because imagine a seller coming here and they're curious, maybe they're skeptical about it. They're like, I don't know about this. We buy houses thing. Why, why would they want to buy my house? What are they going to do with it? And they start clicking around and they see, oh, wait a second, what is this rent to own stuff? They're going to rent out my house to somebody or uh, wholesale homes? Look at this. Look at these houses listed here for such cheap prices. They're going to try to rip me off. And you can scare them off you know, before they even contact you. Um, in fact, uh, you know, we, we know of, of specific examples of this where investors have you know, had these websites that have all of their pages listed on the menu. And... Um, deals have fallen through because of that. You know, somebody comes to the house, you have a contract on their house, and then, it, you know, before you get to close, they come here and see their house listed <laughs> as a wholesale property. They see how much you're going to make off the property, and they back out. So, because that can happen, we have everything separated. So, the seller site is just a seller site. There's nothing about buying here. Now, if you want, you can change that. You can put links on here to your buyer pages and some people prefer to do it that way but we don't have it that way by default we've we've separated things now when you're logged into your website and I'm, I'm back here on the dashboard you'll find a menu item that says pages now if you click pages this is going to take you to a list of all of the pages you have on your site and you can see that there are quite a few of them there's more than way more than what's just listed on the seller site uh, for example, here we have a page for wholesale buyers. That's not listed on the seller site, but um, you might wonder, well, how do I get to it? How do I see it? Well, one option is just to come in here and click on the view. And I'm just going to do that right now. And you can see, you know, here's a landing page for wholesale buyers or, or cash buyers. There's a video, um, there's a headline, and then there's a form for them to fill out about what they're looking for in a property. So your sellers aren't going to see this, so you would have to send your wholesale buyers directly to this page. Now, one way to do that is you can just look at, when you click that, um, you can look in your address bar of your browser, and you can see the address of this page. Um, so basically, if you're not using your own domain name, it would look like dundealwebsite.com slash your username slash wholesale. If you're using your own domain name, let's say you're using you know, joebuyshouses.com, then it would be joebuyshouses.com slash wholesale would be the address, the web address of this page. And uh, and that's where you would want to send people. So what you would do then is in your marketing, let's say you're marketing on Craigslist or in the newspaper, you would give them the address of this specific page so they don't have to go somewhere else and click around. They, they come directly to this page. And then only your buyers see this page. Your sellers will not see it. Um, let's go back. And I'm just going to go back to that list of pages. And you can see that there's there's many other pages here, too. There's a rent-to-own homes. Um, there's a page for bird dogs, uh, commercial properties, land. And I'll just briefly show you those pages just so you have an idea of what they look like. Let's look at the... And I'm going to open them in a new tab. So if you right-click on that view, and you can click open in a new tab. And I'm going to open up several of these and we'll just go through them real quick. I'm going to open the bird dogs page, uh, the commercial properties, and land. So let's just uh, take a quick look at some of these. Um, let's start with the rent-to-own buyers. You know, again, here's a page that's dedicated to rent-to-own homes. And, um, you know, there's a form for them to fill out and everything. Uh, then there's a page here for bird dogs, and it's a really simple page just for them to um, fill out their information um, about um, about this. And they can even, and this is actually for them to submit a lead to you. So they can come here and put in the information, um, the seller's contact information, the, the property address, the, and if is it asks, is the mailing address of the seller the same as the sale property? If they say no, then it automatically expands and asks for the mailing address of the seller, so you can actually contact the seller. If they say yes, it doesn't ask that information. 
And then of course details, they can even upload pictures of the property and you get that information uh, when they submit it. So a really cool feature. Um, then we have a page for commercial properties and you know this is for someone wanting to sell a commercial property. Ask all the information you know that's relevant to commercial properties like how many units there are um, you know all of that kind of information some of it's some of it's similar to the the normal seller information but it is relevant to that and it also asks do you have any other properties for sale because sometimes someone selling a commercial property may have additional properties then here's our land page uh, um, you know which is all again relevant to buying land um, and it just says you'll consider any type of land and again some of these in questions are specific to land like the lot size the zoning um, survey if there's power water etc so um, those are all you know specific to that now you might be thinking well I, I don't really deal with land I don't deal with commercial properties well that's fine then you don't advertise those pages again people are only going to find these pages if you're advertising those pages so um, for example if you're if you're doing rent rent to own homes you would have to advertise this this rent to own homes page for people to find it you would put it in your marketing if you don't advertise it no one's going to find it so that's just you know basically how it works with all, all of your pages is you have to do the work of telling people about it and then they go exactly where you tell them now one of the features um, is that you can use your own domain name now to do that um, I'm not going to go through all of the steps here because we do have tutorials that deal specifically with that but I would recommend doing that because it will look more professional than just using a web address that's like dundalewebsite.com slash your username it's better if you have your own domain name like sallybiashouses.com uh, that you can send people directly to it just looks more professional now to set that up um, you can go to tools and then domain mapping to get um, some instructions on that or go to our support area and we'll have videos that walk you through step by step how to do that so I do recommend doing that now one of the features with our sites is that you can actually edit any of these pages so let's say for example you wanted to change the frequently asked questions section on your seller site well you would come in here to pages find frequently asked questions and click edit and once this opens up you're going to see a list here of the questions um, let's just say for example that you're a real estate agent and you're also an investor well you, you might want to change this part that says we're not real estate agents um, you might just take that out <laughs> um, or you know you might want to adjust that wording a little bit and then when you're finished be sure to click update so you can change any of the wording that you like on the page and make it completely customized to you and your business and if you have any questions about anything you can always go to the support area you can click the support link and um, you can find support tutorials um, we'll show you videos and things like that showing you how to uh, how to do specific things or if there's something you're having trouble with you can contact us and let us know so there you go that's an overview of your site I do recommend that you get familiar with it and also go through our tutorials so you know exactly how to do what you need to do and then you know get things set up and start telling people about it start marketing it and uh, start getting leads coming in so thanks again for choosing Dundee website we appreciate your business and look forward to talking to you soon